And the federal government has taken delivery of almost 2 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. The EU ambassador who made the presentation of the vaccines in Abuja notes that the donation is part of the EU's commitment to jointly combat the pandemic. The executive director, National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shoaib, says that the federal government has procured over 39 million doses of the J&J vaccine through Afrexim Bank. He however notes that only about 12 million doses of the single shot is currently in the cold store. Uh, with today's donation of 1,936,050 doses of the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine through the European Union, uh, we also have a stock of about 10 million uh, doses of the vaccines that have been donated through the COVAX. We have no doubt about the commitment of the European Union to the eradication of COVID-19 globally and in Nigeria in particular. So the onus is now upon us uh, to make rational and effective use of these vaccines. As I've mentioned in my previous uh, communications, we'll be focusing the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines in the hard to reach areas riverine areas, desert areas, security compromised areas. Uh, this is because uh, we want to seize the opportunity of the single dose uh, vaccination uh, to uh, reach these populations at the earliest opportunities and uh, not worry about uh, the fact that uh, we'll have to go multiple times. The next time we'll be going will be to give uh, booster uh, doses and this makes it a whole lot easier than having to uh, navigate three uh, potential uh, jobs to each individual in these areas that are particularly difficult uh, to reach. I would like to assure our partners that uh, uh, we will ensure a safe and equitable uh, distribution of these vaccines. Let me also mention that uh, the availability of the different vaccine brands uh, does not in any way mean that uh, some categories of people uh, are going to be selected for a particular uh, type of vaccine. What we're going to be using is the accessibility, making sure that every single Nigerian, no matter where they live, has the opportunity of access to these uh, vaccines. I'm glad to inform you uh, that we have now vaccinated over 15 million uh, Nigerians with the first dose. This is about 14.1% of uh, the uh, total number of uh, eligible people that uh, we've targeted. With the, COVID, uh, with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, what it also means is that the lag that we have observed with the second dose will now be rapidly uh, eliminated because by the time you give uh, one dose, that is sort of uh, counted as a full vaccination for the individual. So for a lot of people, if we had given 15 million uh, doses of uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, then by now we'll have been talking about having reached uh, nearly 15% of the total population.